Oh, Mr. Woodruff Key, you're going to lose today. How you doing guys today we are back on my 1955 wheel horse senior wisconsin motor i got the exhaust valve out just wanted to take a look at what we had there the seat's in pretty rough shape it's probably going to need a new seat so i will determine on that once i get the crank out and i'm still living the life of a woodruff key that won't come out i've heated this up I've pried on it, I've beaten on it, um, and I can't get it out, and I really don't want to ruin the crank. I want to save this crank, right? I did dink it once right here, but I barely touched it, um, meaning the crank. And you can see, oh, man, my thumb still hurts a bunch of days later. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this all up, and I think what I'm going to do is just going to get a piece of tin foil, cover this all up, protect the end of the crank, and then I'm just going to take a, a piece of steel rod and I'm going to weld it right to the uh, right to the key, and I'm just going to rip it out. I've been trying to avoid that, but I think that's the only course of action I have right now in order to get that Woodruff key out. So let's uh, let's get to work. Okay, so here's the plan. Um, I got my tin foil in place. I got a nice piece of angle iron here. I cleaned it off really well. I cleaned off the top of the uh, Woodruff key. I'm going to go ahead and get the MIG welder and I'm just going to weld that this piece of angle iron to the top of the Woodruff key and hopefully I'll be able to pry it out. As you can see the tin foil is in place just to protect the crank. Obviously this is the only side I really need to worry about. I really don't care if something splatters up on the block. It's not a big deal. Um, so let's just go ahead and uh, let's see what happens. We had to get a little bit more aggressive with it than I wanted, but uh, the, the friend and the friend that I have that I mounted the tires, I went down to his garage and we used a big, huge torch and we torched it out. Um, essentially, you can see it took a lot of like it took a lot of energy to get this thing out. It's it was really pressed in there, um, which is weird, but the. The slot itself is mint, it's perfect. I just gotta sand it out, clean it up with a scotch bite pad. And I've already got a new Woodruff key for it, a new uh, Wisconsin Woodruff key for it. So it's all set to go, we're fine. Next up, uh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take these four bolts off and we'll get this PTO bearing plate out of the way so we can take a look at the crank. We'll take the uh, other side off where the flywheel is, the flywheel bearing plate, we'll take that off and we should be able to get the crank out of the motor with the uh, four bolts off the the plate or the bearing plate on the pto side just came right off it and it looks mint the bearing look the bearing race looks mint everything is fine so real happy about that let's go ahead and pull now i this thing is pretty loose oh looks like i might be able to get this thing out without taking the other let me see if i can do this without ruining the crank oh, come on one-handed crank removal. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Success. That really doesn't look bad at all. All right. Well, let me, uh, let me get my hand cleaned up and we'll, we'll take a look. I'm, uh... I'm undecided as to whether or not I'm going to look for a new crank. Essentially, what I would do is I would find an NOS crank, and then I know a guy that would be willing to machine the end of the PTO for a senior, because this is kind of se this is senior specific right here, from about there to here. Um, the crank measures out to be one two uh, one point. Let's, why don't we just walk over there? Um, it measures 1.125 to 
1.124. Uh, the four is definitely small. Uh, the new rod measures out to be 1.126. Um, this is the old rod, but that's the the crank pin. Or no, excuse me, the uh, Babbitt bearing uh, that's in there. So that gives me if we go if we run and I was using my dial calipers, not on my chronometer, so it's not super accurate. So if we use the one two a one point one two five versus this, that does still keep it within specification. Um, specification was point zero 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 seven to point zero 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 two or something like that. I don't know. It would. <laughs> So, I'm sorry. Uh, it was within the specification. So I'm thinking I'm just going to reuse this crank. I'm not going to go and try to hunt one down and uh, an NOS one and have it machined. That's where I'm leaning. I'm not 100% there. I did start kind of just taking a wire uh, brush and cleaning up the teeth. They're going to clean up absolutely fine. Uh, so this crank itself is, is I'm just going to polish it. That's where I'm le leaning towards. I got a brand new rod, so that's going to be fine. The one thing I did not expect, but I'm going to have to do, is I'm going to have to get a couple valve guides for it. Uh, the intake valve guides are a real mess, and, the, and these seats are a real mess too. So once I get the cam out, I think the thing we're going to do next is we're going to I'm going to order up some parts, and then I'm going to drop it off to the machine shop to have two new guides, two new valve seats put in it, have it bored 10 for the new piston and rings. Then I'm going to have them take that elbow out of the engine. All right, guys. It was a, uh, it was productive. It was very productive. Can't, can't complain. Uh, the engine looks good. It's like, it's going to be a, a real good base for the senior and, and it's going to be the original engine. So with that, the next, uh, in next video, we got to get the, the cam and the lifters out. We'll take a look at all the parts, hopefully, by then, and we'll get this thing dropped off to the machine shop. So until then, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you would leave a comment below, that would be greatly appreciated. And as always, until the next video, you have a great day.